Right, it's on there. So just going into a bit of detail about the, the shoulder complex. Um, you've got, in terms of movement, you have shoulder movement itself, and that is the, the scapula floating around on the thoracic ca uh, cage. And then you have the glenohumeral movement, which is between the scapula and the humerus, which is this movement. So in terms of the relevance of this to bowing, is in order to get your arm into the correct bowing position, you have to bring the arm forward like this. So obviously you can either, you can use a lot of shoulder movement and not much movement between the actual scapula and the humerus, and that's this. Or you can maximize the movement of just this joint here, not the whole shoulder. So you can bring just the arm forward and it's a payoff between those two really. You, you can't completely bow like this with your just moving the, the arm itself forward, not the shoulder. There has to be some shoulder movement. But I would suggest in most people, it's similar with holding the violin, there's, there doesn't have to be so much of this. You can reduce that shoulder movement. Um, so similarly here, you don't have to move the shoulder right forward as you're playing like this. That can be brought back a little bit. And that just um, offloads the overload. Mm. And what about going to the heel of the bow? Because when you go to the heel of the bow, then... Yeah, you, then, you have, then you have to do it then. That's when you have to. But mm. even, I mean, obviously, if you, if you start from a position of what we call in osteopathic world is protraction, which is the shoulder going forward, if you start in a position where you don't need to be protracted, and then you are, obviously then when you get to the situation where you have to be a bit protracted, you're going to be very, very protracted. Yeah. So that shoulder needs to... Obviously, I'm exaggerating now, <laughs> but that's, that's the idea. So, once again, my little catchphrase of minimum... Well, let me get it right. You don't have to edit that bit. Maximum postural effort, uh, I'm getting it all wrong now, maximum postural <laughs> effect from effect. minimum muscular effort. 